everyone, my name is Logan Simons um, and my show right now, Hours in the Attic, is up in the Pratt Institute Photo Gallery and I'm going to walk you through my work. So this first piece of my show is called Remnant Blues. Um, this piece is actually an imprint of my face and I really love the way that it kind of captured the texture when you're looking up close. You can see parts of my eyebrow, pores, all kind of details of my face. Um, and I like that kind of long lasting um, portrait that is made of me. So the second piece is called The Nearness of Oblivion. Um, and it's actually a manipulated print where I had this medium format picture um, of the stars and then I printed it out and crumpled it up kind of thinking about actually being able to like touch the universe and make an impact and like literally see our mark being made. So this piece is called Larry and Janine Forever um, and I came across this big tree when I was walking around Greenwood Cemetery in Brooklyn um, and I really just absolutely loved the carving that they did kind of thinking about who they were and then how I was now connected to them through this tree and kind of almost like a tie through time um, and then leaving their mark. You know, I don't know what happened to them, if they're still alive, if they're still together, but they're kind of ever isolated within the tree. This piece is called Found on the Floor of Ozings Castle. Um, it's this abandoned castle upstate New York and as I was walking around, I saw this picture of this little boy on the floor um, and I picked it up and kind of wanted to do a restoration project, try to Photoshop it back to life. But when I scanned it, I really kind of fell in love with the way it was decaying um, and all of these really interesting colors that that made. So I ended up just keeping it that way and almost immortalizing him in this sense um, of the photograph. So this piece right here is called I Only See You In My Dreams um, and it's a double exposure. Um, I really liked the way it kind of almost like showcases how time is kind of like not linear and things are happening all at one time. Um, I think especially about the ocean, I think kind of it's almost like a time capsule of things and the cycle just keeps going and going and we never know in the water that we're standing in, the coastline that we see where that water has been. And I think it kind of captures or holds a lot of like secrets and memories. Um, and so I, this is kind of my visualization of that. So this piece is called Immortal Outlines um, and it's a manipulated 35 millimeter negative. Um, and I kind of, this one's almost like the opposite of the, a lot of work that I'm doing cutting someone out and erasing their history and kind of only having this very vague outline or this very vague mark that they've left on the world. This piece right here on the other wall is called What Little Remains um, and it's that same kind of action as the first one of making an imprint and this one is of my hand and how you know fingertips and fingerprints are unique to everybody and so I really love the detail that it captures and it almost feels like that detail is vibrating off the page and this is my hand and only my hand and recognizable just to me. This piece right here is called Collectibles um, and it's a cyanotype that I made. The necklace right here is actually my grandma's necklace, one of the only kind of remaining artifacts that I have of her. And then this is actually a portrait of me kind of I'm in my moment right now. I probably will never, you know, look like exactly like that again. Same with plants, you know, the imprint that they're making. These plants have long gone been tossed in the trash and don't live anymore but all in all, this imprint is going to last forever of these objects and of these plants. This piece right here is called Within Without, and it's kind of a very similar idea to uh, the Immortal Outlines piece that was over on that wall. Um, the idea that you assume that a mirror is going to show you who you are and you'll be able to see your true self, but what happens when you take that away? It's only sort of a temporary outlook on yourself, and it's more about the marks that you make and the things that you leave behind that kind of show truly who you are. So this one right here is called Dust to Dust, um, and it's a bunch of little cut out 35 millimeter negatives on a scanner. And I really kind of liked how I was almost able to interact with myself. I have these little photos of me that have kind of encapsulated me in a moment, and then I was able to manipulate them, put my hands on them, mess around with them. It was a really interesting concept in the way of like actually being able to interact with a form. So this piece right here is called Mirror, and it's almost kind of, I think of it as the competitor of the within without photo of the actual mirrors. Um, it's a photogram where I just laid my head on the paper and then halfway through moved to kind of mirror myself. Um, and it does a similar thing of kind of creating imprint of me, but I like the way that the outline kind of is interacting with each other. I think it's also interesting because I'm a twin, and I think twins are kind of an interesting 
dynamic in the way that, you know, one will outlast the other and always become an imprint of the other and we kind of mirror each other in that way. Um, so this piece right here is called Fabrication Archive. Um, it's a cyanotype tapestry. And I kind of think of it as making an archive of living things. So we have a lot of different plants. And these plants, you know, I put them on the cyanotype paper almost a year ago. They're long gone, but their imprints kind of outlast them. And same with my hand in the middle, kind of symbolizing that we will return to that state or we're no more important than the same marks that these plants are making. Um, you can also interact with it on the back side. There are more handprints over here. So this piece right here um, is a collaborative work that I did with my friend Katie, who's sharing adjacent to me in the gallery. Um, we've kind of had a lot of discussion back and forth about the way that our works both kind of interact with nature, take place in nature, and then also this idea of mark making and photography, whether it's successful or a failure in terms of making marks. Um, so we brought this tree into the gallery and we actually carved our names onto the top in the same way that my photograph, Larry and Janine, did that as well. Um, and kind of just bringing something actually to life in the gallery um, was a really fun way to kind of like further describe both of the conversations that we're having. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for viewing my show. Um, it will be available online starting April 6th and available to see in person on the Pratt campus until the end of the week on April 9th.